Welcome to Talking About. I'm JC Alvarez, and we're overjoyed to have on our set today to perform his new song, The Curtain, Andrew Savalski. Take it away. Take a chance, make it real. Take a stance, can't you feel it? Climb the climb, though hills are tall. Love will guide and won't let you fall. And I know that you've been hurting, and I'm sure you'll think it's strange. But I know one thing for certain, with a little help from above, we can change. So pull it back, throw it to the ground, grab the curtain and just tear it down. With a heart that's strong, you can break the Thank you, sir. Thanks. So live TV. So the current is a really inspirational new song because you're you're a jazz singer. I am a jazz yeah, singer. Yeah. But this is more kind of like more pop feeling. Totally more pop. Yeah. I it's wrote a song. I've been writing music, and I didn't plan anything to come out. You kind of let it go and let it flow. And I didn't write jazz songs. I started writing <laughs> pop songs, and <laughs> it kind of surprised me as much as it maybe surprises you. But it's really cool. Yeah. It's really yeah. Cool. No, it's fan it's fantastic, and it's and, and it there definitely is a story behind the song. Is you know what was the inspiration behind it? Well. Um, I just think there's a great concept that when you're going for your for the gold, when you're going for your dreams, when you're ambitious, we always think that we have to keep working harder to get what's out there. 
and it's hard not to think that way. But there's a lot of it, I think, is about just kind of unearthing what's already inside and getting rid, getting rid of the garbage, or you can call it like a curtain, something that's blocking what's already innately in you. And I was yeah. flying on an airplane, and I just had this kind of inspiration. That's where I get some of my inspirations when I'm above clouds. Oh, okay. You weren't flying over that volcano. I was not flying over the <laughs> volcano because I wouldn't well, be here. I wouldn't just be here. Right? <laughs> yeah. Now, you got your full band here, yes. which is for us kind of like a first. It's been a while yeah. since we've actually had. Do you want to introduce it, the band? It, it, sure. Yeah. I'd love to. Go, right. go around and... Uh, just because yeah. I'm going to go... Just point, just point in, no, in no degrees, like, you know, not in, you know, right. hot, sexiest to like <laughs> not just, sexiest. Just great players, great vocalists, yeah. very supportive. Okay. Yeah. Greg Diamond, who we play all the time on guitar. Fantastic. Yeah. Round of applause. Chris Jones on keyboard. Brilliant. Hi. Brilliant. Thierry, I don't know how to say your last name, Thierry. Arpino. Okay, Arpino, Arpino. How That's could right. you not know how to <laughs> say that? I started to say it in my mouth. I'm like, I think it's going to come out wrong. I'll just let him. You had to ask my last name like four times. That's okay. okay. <laughs> and then we have, of course, our backup yeah, singers there. Jesse, very talented and gorgeous, Jesse Wagner. Hotness. The adorable Candace Smith. Hotness. And the most wonderful man, Michael Doan. Hotness. <laughs> hotness, hotness, hotness. They're very good. They're very good. Yeah. 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 They're fantastic, They're right? They're fantastic. Yeah. How long have you all been together? In different iterations, <laughs> we've been playing or knowing each other for quite a while now. I mean, I've known Greg for probably four years, Michael for five, something like that around yeah. the, yeah. Oh, okay, very good, very good. Now, do you have any, any uh, appearances coming up in town? Uh, right what's now? my next appearance? He helps me book them. Oh, okay, Mike. My, let's ask Michael. Uh, Michael, what's <laughs> my, my... We have his record release, oh, yeah. release on May 3rd. Thank you. Right. May there 3rd. You That's right, because there is a video to the curtain um, that you can check out. Do you have like a website where people can? I do. It's uh, andrewsavalski.com. Do I have to spell that? Or? And, do, you have to, do you have to spell Andrew Savalski? <laughs> yeah. Do they well, get like to flash it across w the screen? www.andrewsavalski. <laughs> yes. Uh, S-U-V-A-L-S-K-Y. <laughs> who, who doesn't know how to spell it? I know. A lot of people. A lot of people don't know how to spell my name. So that just in case you want to see me or hear my music, andrewsavalski.com. Very good. Yeah. And that's where they can see the video for the current, which you just, which you just edited and cut yeah. and yeah. shot right yeah. here in the York City. We right? did, yeah. yeah, on location. Was that your first video? It was my first video. How yeah. was that? It was, it was so well done by everybody <laughs> else that they would just call me and say, "You need to be on set," and I would run down and we were, like on location. I would do like thirty seconds on camera. So I don't really remember it. I just like the finished product. Uh, it's amazing. Any any divas on the set? I don't no, know. I don't think so. No, it was not, it, not it went one. like incredibly smooth. But no stories. I know. We'll have to make some up for the next time we come it's around here. A, what kind of a jazz is that? I want, I, I want you know drama and you know Billy. There Hobby were tears. Kind of there was screaming and fighting and yeah. the thing on the I'm not didn't coming out of my trailer. It was a million dollars over budget. Oh, uh, right. oh, see now we're getting <laughs> juicy. It was yeah, like months over production. It was really a whole fiasco, but it, the end result gorgeous. Now, when fans come to see you perform, they're going to be expecting jazz because that's what. You're you're kind of like known for, you know, right. for, for your jazz. Are you going to be incorporating a new, any of these new tracks? I'm going to start to. Well, I, you know, my thing is jazz, but always with a, a real reverence for classic pop. Awesome. So I a lot of times take, you know, old pop songs and I say jazzify them. So I'm definitely going to start. Jazz, that's like jazz. <laughs> yeah, that's my own <laughs> like, you know. So I'm, then I, for sure, yeah, I'm going to be starting to put the original stuff in there. Yeah, we oh. tried one of my songs recently and we just kind of threw it in and we actually swung it a little bit, even though it was a pop song, not this. And it worked. Awesome. I tested the waters and people didn't. They didn't run screaming. They didn't run screaming. No, it was good. Yeah. They it was didn't really throw drinks at you. No. No oh, drama. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a couple drinks. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> now that's what I do. Now it's yeah. like you know that's yeah sure definitely. Are you having a new album coming out soon? Well, Are you working on new material. That the original music. The, the, yeah, that I'm in the studio all the time, trying new stuff out, doing videos. We're releasing a single. That'll sort of be build it and they come. If I release a single and say I've got an album coming, I better finish some more original songs. So yeah, we're working on that right now. Brilliant, fantastic. Now, are you also going to be? I think you're remixing the current, aren't you? Isn't it? Gonna yeah, happen? yeah. We have a remix, and you know that's yeah. really fun because it's like you find a whole nother life in it. Yeah. Try to get it to some DJs, and all of a sudden you start hearing it, and hopefully some clubs, and yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, especially with those backup singers. It's hot. It's a hot mix. You know? It really is a very yeah, hot you mix. Gotta, you gotta pump them up so they yeah. <laughs> pump them up. get that whole. I think we already did. Yeah. Get that whole anthem yeah. thing going. Definitely right? not about the front vocals anymore it's about the chorus yeah, isn't it, isn't yeah. it? no no seriously you know, your vocals are great thank I'm, you I'm, the song is fantastic i like and, glad you like you it know, we hope that we'll be seeing a lot of you uh over the next couple of months performing that'd be nice yeah, we're planning so, on yeah. it you will be you'll be hearing from me yeah and all these cats as well will be yeah joining yeah, yeah it'll be on the world tour <laughs> what's so funny the bus leaves tomorrow yeah. <laughs> oh the bus leaves tomorrow yeah. for the world for the world tour oh interesting okay 
Very good. Well, I we thank you so much for, for joining yeah. us and stuff. Yeah. So and the uh, the website again. Okay, it's www.andrewsavalski.com. Okay, and on the site, more information about more, you. Well, yeah. Well, tour dates always on the on the website. A lot of my recordings are there, um, where you can buy my music, okay. uh, and always updated with um, things that are coming. So with the curtain being premiered, uh, there'll be information there for sure. Okay. Just out of curiosity, what's your most interesting fan experience that you've had? With people at the show, I, I asked this of, of a lot of different artists, and some people have some like, like nothing out of the ordinary, and some people have some really freaky stuff that happens just just by virtue of the fans. Do you know? The, the, I don't know if it's freaky. The thing that I still get very you know you can reach me. I'm not like if you go to my website, you can actually just email me. <laughs> you don't have to like go through. I'm just really thrilled and excited and surprised and happy when I get these emails from people like in Australia. Mm -hmm. or in Finland, or I'm like, really? You know who I am? So that's, I don't know if it's freaky, but it's pretty cool that's to know that my music has, on some level, made Reached. it, well, gone around the globe, yeah. So that's how, it, that's how I guess it spreads, and that, that's really the most exciting part. One of the most exciting parts. Okay. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you, and I want to thank for everybody us. for being here. It, it's been great. Thank and you guys very much for... <laughs> and I, ho I hope you had enough fun that, that you'll come back again. Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm J.C. Alvarez, and I'm joined again by the beautiful... Cara Kildoff. Hi. God bless her. God bless you. It doesn't get any better than that. You but smell you, nice. Well, thank you. <laughs> that was, you know, that was a very nice, kind thing you said. Um, well, I wonder, you know, now I'm like, fl I'm flabbergasted. But now i got to introduce our, our next guest, uh, comedian extraordinaire. Uh, you've seen him. Uh, you... you can't have missed him. He's been on Logo, and uh, he's hilarious. He's hilarious, and now he's an accomplished writer, Eddie Sarfati. Well, did I say that right? You did say it right. Cause it's it's such a great name, and I always get nervous. Don't you get nervous? Like you're gonna ruin someone's yes. last name? It's yes. Okay. Yeah, it's a thing. It's a name. It's a name. It's a name. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Oh please, it's 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 a pleasure. I mean, especially um, to uh, talk about your new book, Mental Funny in the Head. Funny. We hope. <laughs> Otherwise, hardly misleading. <laughs> no, but lot, also smart and poignant. Funny, but smart and poignant. Very smart and poignant. And I, and I suppose like the, the first thing that anyone's ever going to ask when they read it is, is it autobiographical? It's clearly autobiographical. <laughs> I mean, if someone asked me that, I assume that they haven't even cracked it open. <laughs> because, I mean, these are all like, you know, great stories about, you know, little little sort of like anecdotes and, and all about you coming becoming a comic and, and just growing up and so forth. And um, You haven't read it, have you? I have. <laughs> I have. I'm like, what is the pressure? What is this going on here? And of course have. I have. I have even favorite stories in here. Absolutely. See, there's like the dedication you made for me, which is like, that's one of my favorite parts of the book. I love that you made it past the, the, the <laughs> binder. <laughs> no, but the there's, so many, there's so many things here that are extremely relatable. Like, like I've told you, it's a, it, the coming out story to your grandma, I think, is, is fantastic. That's, that's a great story. People love that story. That story got me the book deal. Um, and it's actually been made into a short film um, with Kathleen Chalfant, who's a Tony-nominated uh, actress for Angels in America. And um, it's been... On YouTube, it's been seen by about 400,000 people, and it's been played at festivals all over Europe, South America, and the States. And it stars Sean Hollaback, who has been on our show. It does. He yeah. plays me. He plays Because I'm too old to play me. <laughs> no, you're not. I was. When we first started the film, the director said, why don't you play yourself? And I said, it's, uh, I'm 20 years old in that story. It's, it looks You're like, like me? It would be completely <laughs> pathetic to have you know, this 40-something guy oh. coming out to his grandmother. <laughs> It would be a little no. creepy, I think. Well, I mean, consider, <laughs> considering. But it's like, good you know, casting, though. <laughs> it's not stunt casting. It's like, you know, Sh Sean, because Sean kind of like, you know, yeah. there's a reminiscence there. Yeah, well, we had him have some uh, work done to <laughs> you know, put it together. No, Sean had to have the work done. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Now, Eddie, uh, you've been doing this for a long time, being a comedian. I have been doing it. Um, I've been doing it full time almost 10 years. Um, and before that, on and off, haphazardly, half-assed for a bunch of years <laughs> before that. <laughs> half-assed comedian. Yeah. Now, uh, some of us are, are establishing ourselves as comedians. Some of us are comedians. And um, do you still get that angst and fear when you go on stage? Uh, I'm having it right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking to all of Queens and Brooklyn, are, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Um, of course. It depends on, it depends on the um, circumstance. I tend to get more uptight if people I know are in the audience mm -hmm. rather than if it's a big bunch of strangers, no matter how many people are there. Um, 
the worst ever is the first time you're dating someone comes to see you. Because no matter how good it is, no matter how hot the sex is, no matter how compatible you are, if you bomb, it's over. No one is going <laughs> to commit true. to a lifetime of, gee, we're great. <laughs> well, you're half funny, or you know, right, kind right. of funny. You know, <laughs> oh, I'm um, going to keep that in mind. <laughs> well, you know, it, it's important to know that. It's I, important. I did not know it's that. It's important. You have to have a backup plan. <laughs> <laughs> now you've been you've been not only um, you've been not only touring and promoting the book, but uh, uh, you, you sort of like wherever you go around around the city, uh, the name of the, the of your comedy act is called the Mental. What, what is the it? Mental Tour. The we mental figured tour. you know why not? Uh, you know more people will it's come brilliant. to hear stand up yeah. comedy. A lot of people will come to hear stand up comedy, but. People are not so big on coming to a bookstore. Yeah. <laughs> the country's not so literate at times. Well, only but, some people that yeah, do. I hear no, that exactly. lesbians do that all the time. Shut up. <laughs> so um, we're doing, you know, I, I got to go out and do my comedy anyway, and um, we're doing an evening of homoneurotic comedy. Done it in about 22, 23 cities over the last few months since the book's been released. And um, it's been really fun, and in... We've also used it as an opportunity to raise money for a lot of good um, LGBT mm -hmm. and AIDS charities, mm -hmm. and that's been fantastic. Yeah, which is really, really important right now. There's a lot of activism in the... Well, also, the you know, the economy is sou sour. Everyone's yeah. looking for, for funds. There's a lot of competition, and people are hurting. Mm -hmm. And this is a way to go out and laugh and, you know, do something good for the community. So it's... A Complete pleasure. Absolutely. You know, it, another thing, and something I'm really proud of is, um, as a gay man, and what I think is really important um, that you've done with the book, which um, I went to go see uh, um, uh, Leslie Jordan show last night. Did I say it right? Leslie Jordan? Yeah, that's yes. not that hard to. <laughs> Leslie Jordan. Is that Leslie Jordan? Because he played the famous character, right, Will right. Grace, that was Leslie was in LA. You know who I'm talking about. Yeah. But he made a really a really poignant statement in in his in his show saying that these are our stories. Uh, no one's ever told um, the perspective of telling the stories of the gay community, and now there's a generation that is finally telling the stories of the individuals within the gay community because no one's really ever chronicled or told those stories uh, to the next generation. And right. I, well, I mean, people were afraid to do that, yeah. and then we lost almost a whole generation of people. Right because of the AIDS crisis. So in a way that's true. Um, or, there, or people told their stories in covert ways. Mm. You know, Tennessee Williams writing plays that were really about men but were written for women. Right. Things wink, like wink. that. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So I think it's very poignant that now finally there really is stories that um, the, the young gay and lesbian community can, can relate to. Well, I'm, I'm very pleased that I could corrupt as many young people as possible. <laughs> it really has been a, a goal of mine. Come on, we don't want to give anyone like the wrong impression about the book because it's... it's no, it'll funny. turn you gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm completely unapologetic. That I know what I'm yeah. about that. Or if they come to see your act, it'll turn you gay. Yes. You're powerful. That's right. Well, you know, it's true. After the show, that's when the chuckle fuckers come out. <laughs> It's true. They're fine. They have no interest. Then you make them laugh, and then they want to get in your pants. Really? <laughs> Interesting. See, that's the problem. That's the problem. Those damn chuckle. I like that. Yeah. yeah. It's funny. But of course, if they laugh after they've been in your pants, it's a little problematic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what? That's, that wouldn't be It's awkward. Be it's awkward. I don't, it's I don't care for it. Now how, now, how are things going with you in the dating, in the dating world? Is that, you know? Because um, your comedy tends to be sometimes very neurotic. Sometimes. <laughs> You know, it's like it's pretty much the basis of every <laughs> joke I write. <laughs> well, you have to, you know, that's what comedy is. Comedy is people's experience of being an outsider, which sure. is why all the good comics are Jewish or African American or women or fat or gay or, you know, some experience of being different. Right, right. right. Um, you know, there's not a whole lot of really hysterical, heterosexual, white Anglo <laughs> Saxon Protestant males running around. I'm sorry. Unless they had horrible childhoods and, you know, or, or, or a disfiguring accident. Oh. Um, if, there's a, if there are any out there, we'd love to interview them. Yeah, that Seriously. would make good television. <laughs> like the, a sideshow. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's neurotic and. Um, but also smart and poignant. Absolutely, yeah, because we can. Every, everyone can relate to these stories, which are fantastic. Don't you agree? He didn't answer the question. What was the question? Yes, he did because, the oh, question. the dating. Oh. I, I, you know what? I'm not dating so much because I have a boyfriend, and he frowns on it. <laughs> and um, I think, you know, if he wouldn't, it would be God good because I could use the material. 
Um, but he's great. We, he, we just moved in together. Okay. Congratulations. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of amazing that I could, you know, sucker someone in. It's <laughs> a, a trap with a, you know, a carrot on the stick. Um, oh, I'm going to try that. He's, he's yeah. sweet. He's smart. He's handsome. Um, he's probably half asleep because he's <laughs> not wised up to, you know, me yet. No, it's great. We get along so well. Yeah. It's just so easy. It's it's fantastic. Has it changed your comedy in some way? Has he influenced your comedy routines in some fashion? Well, he's sucking the life out of me. <laughs> so I think that um, that can be misconstrued. It's bound to have a little. No, he's great. He's great. He's so supportive. So you know, and he's so in love with me. He's like, oh, you're so smart. Oh, you're so thoughtful. Oh, you're. You're, you're so sweet. I'm like, I can't keep that up for much longer. <laughs> like a whole lifetime of that is going to be problematic, I think. Or it could be new material for a new book. It's true. Well, I, you know, I literally follow him around with a pencil. <laughs> it's fair game. <laughs> you know, that's, you date a comic. Yeah. You know. It's true, yeah. He's, he's, I know. He's going to be appearing somewhere. It's true. My it's mother will only talk to me with a third party present now. because. Um, <laughs> actually, my mother's been a great sport. Cause well, considering, yes. Yeah, yeah she's yeah. been, I mean, you know, because at times in the book she comes across as unbearable. But at Most times she. Most moms are. Most moms could be very, like, you know, I mean, my mom was extremely stifling. God rest her soul, but she was extremely Oh, stifling. now you clean it. Now that she's dead, I can't <laughs> say anything. Well, I'm just saying. I'm not, <laughs> like, you know what? I'm not scared of her anymore. So it's kind of like, you know. That's good. I'm, glad. I'm slightly scared of her. I'm glad you've gotten to it. No, my mom, you know, she, she's, my mom's fantastic. Yeah. She's great. She's loving. She's accepting. She makes me crazy. Um, <laughs> and um, I go visit her because I need the jokes. But in the book, you know, some of the book takes place when I'm 20 years old, sure. when your mother appears unbearable to you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then some of the book takes place when I'm older, when she's not so unbearable. And, you know, and sometimes I'm really nice to her, you know, when I need stuff. When you need material. Yeah. <laughs> I mean it a little bit. <laughs> now you're gonna you're touring. You're right now touring. I'm yeah. I'm. I just um, came back from Boston. I'm and Connecticut last week, and now I'm in Minneapolis this Monday night mm. at a place called Lush, and we're doing a big um, event for the um, Twin Cities Gay Men's Chorus. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, so hopefully there'll be big laughers and. Um, uh -huh. Those kinds, right? <laughs> yeah, and then I'll be hosting the Lambda Literary Awards here in uh, New York next month. Oh, fantastic. And in That's between, great. I'll be uh, teaching a comedy writing workshop to first-time stand-up people in uh, a theater in Florida. Wow. And that's always kind of, you know, getting that's people from zero to Seinfeld in two weeks is Herculean. <laughs> is that what it's called? The class is called Zero Seinfeld? Um, no, it's called... Um, don't embarrass yourself. <laughs> I, I, well, people, pe people take comedy. It always amazes me. Because you'd think that people who would enroll in a comedy cl mm -hmm. class would have at some point maybe seen a comic. Have an idea or what they, have an idea what yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people come in. I mean, you, I've had people who take the class because their therapist thought it would help them be more outgoing. Sure, yeah, 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 yeah. I've had people take classes to meet single men. Yeah. I've had, uh, <laughs> well, that's, you know, it always ruins it because they want someone who's like, you know, f smart and funny with no emotional baggage, and the only way you can be a good comic is if you have if emotional, emotional baggage. baggage. <laughs> and you know, if I people take the take a stand-up comedy class to improve their English. Oh, what? Okay. Yeah, it's hysterical. I mean, they don't know it's hysterical, but they're usually quite funny. I, I, I can see that being quite funny. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, really, no, that's that's a shocker. Now, if anyone wants to know where you're performing, you got a website? My website is keeplaughing.com. Keeplaughing.com. Um, yeah, because eddiestarfordy.com is too hard to spell, pronounce, or remember. <laughs> so keeplaughing.com, or please um, hit me up on Facebook, because right. um, right. I post everything there. And um, yes, those are the two places. Uh, the book is available in Barnes & Noble, Borders, Amazon, um, here in the city. At but There's not really a gay bookstore, except uh, they just devote a nice section of um, their store to books yeah. at uh, Rainbows and Triangles, exactly, which I think yeah, is great. Do, yeah. Um, yeah, but it is getting it is getting uh, really good reviews, and and um, and I know that when I went to go get it, it was sold out. You know, I told you that when I went to go pick it up, it was. Well, gone. I thought that was just a way for you to finagle a free copy, for me. <laughs> um, and I'm no, like, all right, I'm he has a TV show, I'll give him the copy. <laughs> I'm serious. I went to go pick it up, and I asked for it, and they're like, oh no, it's sold out. Excellent. And I'm like, well, that's excellent. great. Excellent. That's and you, you can get it also uh, for Kindle. Oh, oh, you moved into it, the into the 21st century there. Yes, it's environmentally friendly. Exactly, uh, which is very important, especially for today. It is, for every day. <laughs> for every day. Yeah, I don't want to imagine, you know, 
these poisoning the people in <laughs> Staten Island when uh, all the red copies no, are end up in no, fresh God, kills. God bless people. those people in Staten Island, absolutely. Eddie, you're a treat. You're a joy. It was a fun time here. Absolutely. Thank and you for anytime me. you'd like to come back, we, we're, we're honored okay, to have I'll you. Okay, I'll stay now. <laughs> you can.